Hello and welcome back to another episode of DCS and 10 minutes or less with the Mirage 2000. This is episode 9, which is covering route desire and desired time. This is the last video that will be covering navigation in this series. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. This portion of the video, I'll go over using the RD or route desire setting. This allows you to approach a waypoint or offset waypoint from a specific direction. You can use RD while in both navigation or air to ground sub modes. Just a side note, if you activate RD when you're too close to your navigation point, it will not be very accurate or just won't work at all. Alright, let's look at our route real quick. So the white dashed line, this is going to be our route. You won't see this during gameplay. I made this in uh, Mission Editor so you guys have a visual aid. So waypoint 1 is going to go parallel with Sanaki and goes to waypoint 2. So instead of flying parallel, we're going to come across and cut to our desired way or desired heading, which will be just following the line. So you're going to grab your ruler, you're going to right click at the apex, and then you're just going to drag it. It's going to be 0, 4, 5 degrees. I'll zoom in real quick so you guys actually see what that looks like. All right, so 0, 4, 5 degrees. All right, now you're going to come to your cockpit. You're going to enter RD, TD, left side is RD. So we're going to do this at waypoint 1, so make sure it's destination 1, and then we're going to prep waypoint 1. So if you were on, like, destination 1, you're, like, prepping 0, 4, it's not going to work because we're doing waypoint 1. So 0, 1. Then again, RD, it's going to be 0, 4, 5 degrees. You can do this in two methods. You do 0, 4, 5, 0, and that will work because that's 45 degrees. Or you can do 4, 5, 0, 45 degrees again, and that will work. So if you enter 4, 5, that will not work because that's 4 and a half degrees. So put that 0 there, hit your INS for enter, it's good to go. Alright, so now all you have to do is when you're flying, come to your PCA panel right here, click RD. That solid S means it's going to work. Alright, let's pause real quick for the symbology. Alright, so right here, this is pretty much going to be your guidance symbology. So your job as a pilot is to put that flight path marker inside those two lines. Those two lines are going to move left and right, so laterally. Uh, they'll also pitch up and down, but that's not for any correction. So if it pitches up and down, that means you as a pilot, you have too much pitch up or pitch down on your airframe. Uh, don't get fixated on chasing uh, the lines. I do every now and then, so I'm speaking from experience. Also on your radar display, so the plus, that's going to be waypoint 1, which is Sanaki. Just like the guidance line on your HUDs, you're going to fly through those lines. Alright, let's unpause it. Let's demonstrate up and down real quick. So, up and down. So you can see, like, as a new pilot, you will get fixated on trying to chase that around. Just don't worry about don't worry about that if it happens. Very slowly, it's gonna start moving to the left as we approach Naki. There it goes. As you see on the river sway, we are about to fly right through it. Alright, also let's go over if you do it too late. If it's flashing like that, it's not going to work. Alright, so we just flew through waypoint 1, now we're heading to waypoint 2. Perfectly on track. Alright, so that covers this portion. Next portion, we'll I'll see you in Mission Editor. See you there. Alright guys, so now we're in Mission Editor. We're going to be using this to talk about TD. So what TD is, is desired time and what it does, it guides the aircraft and speed to arrive to a navigation point. There's options available in both navigation and air ground sub modes. So the reason why we're using Mission Editor, so in the RASMAN manual and like Chuck's guide, uh, it doesn't really cover how to determine uh, your arrival time to a navigation point. Also, uh, real pilots really don't use this according to Helljumper. So there's a reason why they don't have that much information about it but we'll, we'll do our best to give us some insight so right here's our mirage our start time is 12 o'clock and we're going to go at 0.9 Mach so let's go to waypoint 1 which is Gadada at 0.9 Mach we're going to be roughly there at 7 minutes and 26 seconds after the mission starts uh, just know if you have different speeds obviously the time will be different so say we do 
0 0.6 Mach, we'll be there in roughly 11 minutes. We go like 1.5 Mach, we'll be there in 4 minutes and 30 seconds. So let's go back to 0 0.9 for the video demonstration, and we're going to use 7 minutes and 26 seconds. Alright, see you on that portion. Alright guys, welcome back to the cockpit. We just got done with the mission editor, so we know that waypoint 1 is going to take us roughly 7 minutes and 26 seconds to get there. So let's actually enter that information right now. Go back to your navigation panel, go back to RDTD, make sure waypoint 1 is going to be prepped. Right side is going to be your TD, you're going to enter it, so 0726. That period right there, I like to think of that as semicolons, like you're looking at a wristwatch. So enter it. Let's get the go. So now you're going to come over here to your PCA panel. You're going to hit top. So solid S means it's working. Symbology right here. So let's pause track IR. Use half moon symbology, how it works. You're going to keep your acceleration chevrons within that symbology, the limitations of it, and you're going to get there roughly in 7 minutes and 26 seconds. Just know over time, if you're like way faster or way slower, uh, the symbology doesn't really matter anymore. Alright, so that covers the navigation for this series. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one.